I'm setting up my bait jig setup so we can try to catch some yakas, some yellowtails. And these are the ones I use. These are from Kmart. It's only about three dollars each. You can probably get it cheaper at some places. They they work for me pretty well. Pretty pretty easy setup. Not sure if I showed this before. But it comes with two swivels. So the one swivel without the snap, you just connect that to your main line. And I just my usual uni knot. Nice and simple. That there. And then at the end here, the swivel, you either use one of those, uh, I think they're called pear sinkers. I don't have any more. Otherwise, I'll just use a, um, what are these called, man? Split sinkers. Let's put it at the end. There you go. open that up so I would do all that before I actually take it out of the uh, the, the cardboard or the whatever this called <laughs> this is called and of course it gets tangled Zipsy is it there you go the zipsy yakas guys Anwar is already on it. So Anwar is going for liveies today. I'm, uh, I don't know. We'll see. That's it. So you've got the bait jig. I'll show you how we actually, uh, we actually do this. A little bit of a trick to it. So this is my bait jig setup. So a livey set up using my bucket for the liveys. So we just get the water using one of these little buckets. These are I think about 24 bucks, 30, I think about 30 bucks from ISO. Comes with the uh, the rope ready to go. So we get that water, fill it up. Now the aerator, we've got an aerator, but the battery's not it's not it's not working so we got no aerator so we'll have to we'll have to change up the water every so often otherwise the fish dies so every couple of hours just add more water and remove some of the water and it'll keep them alive so that's our setup now this bucket here is really handy right it's not just for live ears you can use it for everything that's why uh we highly recommend it and i'm not as already on fire man is uh man those live are big man you guys probably heard this from us before, but burley is key, guys, for uh, for live bait. Burley up, throw in your jig. The other trick that people don't tell you is that when you throw in your jig, you throw the bait around the jig, and they get them all pumped up. Uh, sometimes we use floaties, sometimes we don't. So Anwar's not using floaty at the moment. And that's been working. You can see the liveies right there. See, look, you see it right there? You cast that right in there. Which I didn't do. Whoosh! Oof! That's it. See that? Boom! Oosh! Oosh, it's a massive one, man! It's a baby yaka! That's it, that's how you do it. We'll show you how to hook them up later. 
That's how you catch them. That's that's a hard bit. But this might be too big, man. Oosh. My personal best on a yakka is I think it's about 30 something centimeters. Huge. Right, so Anwar has a livey on. It's got the balloon on it. On a, what do they call these things, man? Swivel thing. I've seen, I, I showed this on the videos. And he's got a, a, a bait hook. So he's just going to cast that on the overhead. Hopefully there's no nest. Let's give it a go, man. It's your first one. Alright, let's give it a <laughs> Alright, this is first cast. That's it. That's the furthest cast I've ever done also, man, so... Hey guys, if, if anyone can comment and help us out how to cast using a, an overhead, because we're, we're hopeless, man. <laughs> anyway, just, uh, we just hope that this, uh, this yakka heads out. Just tug on it a bit, man. Sometimes they... So the secret I've learned is if you tug on the bait fish, it, it triggers them to, to head out. That's it, it's going out man. If you see it heading back, like reel in your line and then just pull it and it thinks that it's 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 getting hooked on and it'll just try to run out again. Yeah. He's on his new setup, man. His new toy. It's pumped. It's ready for the tuna season. Oosh. 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 Nah. <laughs> so guys, the balloon actually, if, if there's wind, the balloon will actually push out the bait, whichever the wind direction is going. So the bigger the balloon, the further out it can go, if the wind heads out the right way. Um, if there is no wind, you can use a small, just keep it small. So we'll see what happens if the wind blows it out in the wrong direction. Unrod can just pull it back in, make a smaller balloon and send it out and it'll just be like a normal floaty. So I'm just telling Anwar that um, when you set up the livey, if you put the hook on the back, just above its, uh, its crack, it keeps the fish on the top of the water surface or the water column. The further forward you go on the, near the head, it goes down. So depending on how far down you want the fish, it depends how far forward you put the hook. So Anwar had it just in the middle earlier and it kept on going down. So this time he's put it just on near its tail. It should be on the surface, man. Anyway, that's a theory, bro. <laughs> but from my experience, the uh, when the bait fish and the live bait stays on the surface and it splashes around, whew. they can't resist that, man. It's heading out, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go, man. That's it. That's a lively setup. Very nice. It's not too far. While it's on, that sur while it's on the top of the surface, it'll just flap around. So that should, uh, whatever comes past will, will notice that.